Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how you can use marker range. These are these ones here on the timeline, or even here in the source clip, you can do different ones in different colors and mark a specific area in your clip or your timeline. I'm talking about marker ranges here in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So first of all, what is a marker range? What is a marker in general? A marker is these kind of things that you see here. I'm in the edit page right now. They also exist in the cut page, but I made a complete video here on my YouTube channel, this one here, how to use markers in DaVinci Resolve iPad, because there's actually three different ways how you can use markers. So this video will be an addition because the marker range is an additional feature for markers that you can use. So how can you create them? The first one here, that, that one in the timeline is actually very simple. You come somewhere in the timeline and you place a marker. By the way, you can also change markers colors. If you double click this one, then you can change the color, right? So if I go make my playhead here, now you see I have this green marker. If I hold down my option key on my keyboard, I can now select this and create a range. And the cool thing about these ranges is that I actually can right click here and can say set an in and out point from my duration marker. So I can easily set these in and out points just for the markers. And by the way, you know that you can use the arrow keys to move around in your timeline if you have different clips. If you hold down the shift key and you use the arrow keys, you can actually move between markers. Also very handy. By the way, the first method that I showed you is working also in the cut page. So you see these marker ranges even here, and also you can use the shift and the arrow keys to navigate between those markers. The second thing I wanna show you that doesn't work in the cut page. So if we come into yeah. a source clip, so yeah. let's say for example here, yeah. a source clip, and now I'm going through this material, and let's say I have a couple of sections in this video that I actually wanna use for later. Yeah. So yeah. what I can do is I can set an in point, yeah. out point, and then right click, and now I can say convert the in and out to a duration marker. So I can even double click this one, give notes for later, whatever I wanna do it, I can change the color. And now the cool thing is I can set a new in and out point and repeat the process, convert in and out to duration marker. And now I have a couple of markers. And when on a later point you come back to this clip, you can always right click the marker and say, set an in and out point from the duration marker. Then you have just this one marked and you can, for example, just bring in the video that you just selected. These are the two ways how you can use marker ranges here in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. If you don't know how to use all the three different methods of regular markers, then you should definitely watch now this video here about markers. I will put it in the description and you can find it here in my YouTube channel. I hope you found this helpful. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding a bam bang gong, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.